Hello Stimiax. We have started with a series of lectures on quantum computing topic. So welcome to the third video in quantum computing series of lectures and tutorials. Today's topic will be about the superposition. So without further ado, let's start right away. For the beginning, here is one fun fact. Have you heard of an experiment called Schrödinger's cat? It's a famous quantum mechanical experiment presenting a fictional cat that can be both dead and alive. So, quantum superposition represents the ability of a qubit to exist in several states at once. Quantum superposition can be visualized by having the particle spin in two states, up spin and down spin. So a superposition can be explained by the following mathematical formula. Quantum computers and quantum computing would not be so powerful without use of quantum mechanical phenomena such as superposition. Microscopic particles that act as qubits can simultaneously take multiple states at the same time, what makes computational performance exponentially more powerful in comparison to classical computers. When we say that qubits can be in superposition, it means that they can appear in linear combination of the two states, a zero-ket state and one-ket state. For example, if we use two qubits, it would mean that we could perform four calculations in a single step, according to the following formula, 2 to the power of n. According to that, let's say we have 30 qubits at our disposal. That would mean that we could do fascinating more than 1 billion calculations at the same time. And that's possible with only 30 qubits. Just imagine the power of that. In order to find out in which state qubit is currently in, we have to measure it. So how should we do it? We have to fire a pulse of energy towards isolated microscopic particle and then measure the electrical stimulus or feedback. That is how we know whether the particle is in spin up or spin down state. Thank you for watching. Hope you have better understanding of superposition now. That would be all for now. See you soon with the next lecture. Please make sure you subscribe, click on that bell icon so you could get notifications when we release new video, like, and comment on the video in case you want to share your thoughts or ask any questions. You can find all the details about this lecture in the description below. You can visit our official website, www.stimiac.com, where you will find the entire article about this topic, forum, where you can ask and answer questions and be a part of our growing community. You can also find the entire source code for any given topic, all video lectures and many more. So, see you soon with another lecture.